Hi Sprucers! I just wanted to share a couple tips with you. So I had a couple really great experiences today and with sharing and so I wanted to just tell you a little bit about it. So I was at the gym actually, so the other day I was at the gym and one of my friends that is a personal trainer there, I went to high school with him and I know that he's been watching my posts online. So tip number one, when you post, post consistently about your Young Living business and don't make your, your posts like business-like, meaning like salesy. So um, if you want some ideas, you can share posts that you see on Young Living Canada, Young Living, um, you know, just the regular, like the Young Living page on Facebook. You can also share the Blue Spruce Club business page posts. Those are all awesome. You can just post like, had a great day with a little help from my friends and post your favorite oil with you or you and your kids and the oil or the diffuser going in the background or, you know, whatever. Those are non-salesy type of posts. If you start typing like, hey, um, I love Stress Away. It's so great. If you want to order this, contact me. That's salesy and it's kind of annoying and, you know, people don't really respond to that. So non-salesy, more like, no need to say contact me. They know where to get it. If you're con if you're consistently posting, they know that you're a distributor, so you don't need to put that in there. Um, but anyway, so I'm at the gym and my friend Tim comes up to me and we're talking and so, you know, I, 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 knew, I know he's a marathon runner. So I said to him, hey, Tim, I'm just wondering, you know, like, do you have any marathons coming up? And he, and he said, no, I haven't actually been able to run until um, because I injured myself back in January. He was like, oh, I had no idea what happened. So he starts telling me about it, that he tore things, that he, he's in pain, he's going through physiotherapy and all these things. So I start, just started asking him a lot of questions. Tip number two, ask lots of questions. People like to talk about themselves. So I wanted to know more about his condition before I started talking about oils, right? Because then I would know what to talk about. So I said, you know, how'd you injure yourself? And um, what are you doing at physiotherapy right now? And what are the things you're kind of doing for pain management and that kind of stuff? And what's the timeline that they gave you that they think that you'll be able to get back onto the road running and um, all these questions. So after I got all that information, I said, you know, Tim, I've got some stuff that can help you speed up your your healing process and with your pain management and he's like actually I have been thinking about asking you about that because um, I know you have the essential oils and stuff right and I was like yeah and I actually would love for you to try it because I know from personal experience that it's so awesome and it will really, really help you. So um, it'll get you back to running quicker and, and it'll help prevent future injury as well. And he's like, that'd be awesome. And he's like, actually, I'm going to be near your house uh, tomorrow. Why don't I, or later that, I think it was later that day, I'll pop in and, and pick something up because I told him I wanted him to try something. Well, he didn't end up showing up. So he sent me a message and said, sorry, Jen, the day got away from me. I wasn't able to um, to pop over. But if you want to drop it off, because I had initially offered to drop it off at his house, he's like, here's my address, which I know where he lives, but he was just confirming. So I made up a blend. Uh, basically what it came down to was I took that little travel bottle that I got in my starter kit and I put three drops of Copaiba because that's an anti-inflammatory. I put uh, three drops of Northern Lights Black Spruce because that will help with healing and it also helps with pain management. I put three drops of Panaway again with pain and, and um, healing and then I put three drops of lavender. So healing oils, right? So makes it feel better, helps it heal, helps with pain. Those are four that I've been really successful with and I know a lot of people have been. So I put it, in, I put three drops. So I don't want to put a ton of oil in this bottle. I don't want to fill it up because I want him to just try it, love it, and then call me to order. If I fill that bottle up, he's not going to call me for a long time. That's a lot of oil. Remember, you're giving them a sample. Okay, to try. So I figure 12 drops. I told them I wrote, um, I actually got, I don't have it in front of me, the quad folds. And I circled in it the oils that I put in this blend. And then on the front of it, I put a bright pink sticky note. And I wrote, hey, Tim, here's a sample for you to try. I've circled the oils that are in it, in this brochure. Uh, they will help with healing and pain, speeding up your, your healing and your pain management. Try it out. Let me know what you think. I'll be in touch. 
And when I also, okay, so this is tip number two. This is the other thing. I told him when I said, I'm going to let you try an oil. Tip number three, what did I say? Tip number three. Okay, we're on three. Um, when I give you this sample, the, the only catch is that you have to try it and then you have to tell me what you think. You have to give me your honest opinion. Do you promise? He's like, promise, sold, done. And I was like, okay. And I'm going to hold him to that. So if you are giving out oils like water and you're letting people try, 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 and you don't follow up or you're not, you're not checking in to see how it went, you're just like, here's, here's some oils. Here's some money. Take my money. <laughs> think of it that way, right? The fortune is in the follow-up. This is super important. So, um, so I dropped it off at his house. Then I sent him a message and I said, um, hey, just drop that sample off at your house with directions. And the directions I put on it, I actually put a, a pump of uh, V6 vegetable oil in it. So it's already diluted. He's brand new to essential oils. I don't want people putting essential oils on their skin if they're brand new, if they've never tried it, because if it starts burning and I'm not available to help him right away, he's never gonna try that oil again. So I did dilute it a little bit for, with him with the V6 oil just one tiny pump and then it's in there and so he's got enough that he can probably I said and apply it to the affected area as often as needed boom done simple easy I don't want to complicate this for him so I know he's going to now I'm gone for a week right I'm going on my young living cruise I'm leaving Wednesday but I know for a week I might not be available so he's gonna try it for the next week and then when I get back I'm either gonna see him at the gym and follow up that way or I'm gonna follow up on Facebook or I'm gonna call him or I'm gonna to go to his house because he's my friend and I know him and that's not weird <laughs> for me to just like show up so um, now he's got it in his hand he's got all the information the other thing that I said to him is you know we've got some really great supplements and I know you train really hard like I do so um, part of prevention is making sure that we are we've got healthy bones ligaments and we're supporting and we're preventing injury so I'm gonna send you some info on that he's like awesome send me whatever you've got he was really open to it again comes back to me consistently sharing on my social media in a non salesy way that's back to tip number one so now what I'm gonna do this afternoon is I'm going to send him information on the products that I've tried and that I've read about and and honestly I, I wouldn't recommend or suggest something unless I have personally tried it which is why I use my essential reward points to get all those things that I want for free so that I can try them and I can be genuinely honest with somebody so if you're sitting there talking about something you know if you're like going on and on about Ningxia Red yet you don't drink that stuff every day Mm. see where I'm going with this <laughs> so I'm going to talk about Ningxia Red for sure because he trains me he runs marathons he needs Ningxia Red I'm going to talk about Life 9 he needs healthy guts I'm going to talk about Sulfurzyme and Agalies because I know those two are wonderful for supporting his joints. I'm also going to talk about Power Guys um, because that's another one that we found has worked really well for, uh, for Sean and I actually. Um, Sean trains as well. And then... Um, uh, and then uh, that's enough. That's like information overload. So I'm just assuming those will re probably replace some of the things he's currently taking, right? So like his multivitamins and supplements and those kinds of things. So I'm going to send it to him. I'm going to send it to him through Facebook because that's how I said I was going to do it. It's at his fingertips. He's got it. I know he checks his Facebook. And the thing I like about Facebook via, instead of email is that email, I don't know when somebody's gotten it or if they've gotten it or if they've read it. Facebook, I can see when they got my message that they read it. And if they start typing back, I can see that they started to reply. I love that. And it just, it's easy, easy, easy. So that's why I do it um, that way. Um, so that was a really great experience that I had this week approaching somebody that I've known for 20 plus years and about the oil. So when I hear from people, I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody. I can't, you know, sell this stuff. BS. <laughs> Blue spruce <laughs> because there are so many people around us that we can share with and you know Tim is not someone I when I sat down and started my young living business he would not have been that person on my 100 list right if I had to write out like this is what I did when I first started was um, I wrote out a hundred names of people like I, I set a timer and for uh, five minutes I think it was and I just wrote names I didn't think I just wrote 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 a hundred names 
and then I compressed that and I took it down to half. What out of these 100 people, which half do I feel really would be interested in Young Living? And then from that half, I took it down to like my top, I think, 25. And then from my top 25, I took it down to my top 10. And then that is who I started approaching first. Right. And then I eventually made it through my list. So he wouldn't have initially been somebody that I would have had on that top 100 list. So there's another tip. Tip number four, you could do your top 100 list. Set your timer five minutes. Don't think. Just write names, 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 names. It doesn't matter who it is, what it is, if it's somebody that already uses Young Living or not, because that can start to trigger things. You don't want to overthink these things. You just want to write. It's brainstorming. This is what gets your mind thinking, thinking out of the box, who you, who you can talk to about sharing this amazing product, right? Right. Okay. My next awesome experience happened this morning, again at the gym. And um, so there was this lady, like, just floating around the gym and I couldn't tell if she was new to the gym or if she was just you know like in her own zone doing her own thing she seemed like a very laid-back happy spirit and you know I kind of smiled at her a couple times made eye contact tip number five if there's somebody that you want to approach make eye contact smile right um, showing them that you're friendly you're approachable, you're a nice person. So I did that with her a couple times, but I just kept doing my workout. Then I got into the change room and I started getting ready to leave. And I noticed she was sitting there on her phone and she's kind of like going, oh, like huffing and puffing a little bit. And I said, what's the matter? And she goes, do you know anything about Facebook? I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> I know a lot about Facebook. What's the matter? And she goes, I, I can't figure out how to post this and this and this. So I started asking her about what she was posting about. In the meantime, there's a cork board beside me that, that my gym uses to advertise their stuff. It's not really a place where I can post my stuff freely. It's just for them to advertise events that are going on within that gym or people that they're associated with that have something to do with the gym. Like if there's an outside runner's club or um, something like that. I've never really seen people posting business cards or anything on this cork board. But I noticed when I walked in, and this is why I noticed, there's this business card with really pretty lavender picture on it for doTERRA essential oils. And I was like, how did that business card get up there? It should be my business card up there. If that's the case, I'll get my card up there. But I wanted to ask permission first because I've never seen that in that gym. So anyways, I look at her, she shows me her phone and I'm trying to help her post something and she posted a photo of herself and then she posted underneath that and she didn't mean to do that and I said what are you trying to post for and then I see somebody commented underneath something about doTERRA and I said is this you and I point to the card is this you and she's like yeah and I said oh I don't know if we're actually allowed to post up there you might just want to ask because I'd hate to see your business your beautiful business card get thrown in the garbage right doTERRA <laughs> And um, she's like, oh, and I said, yeah, just, I would just ask, but I've never seen that. And she's like, oh, okay. You know, I'm just trying to be helpful, honestly. So then um, we, I just keep getting dressed, whatever, and I think, oh, I'm not even going to bother talking to her about essential oils because she uses a different brand and she's a distributor and whatever. Um, but then she kept asking me questions about Facebook. I said, what are you trying to post for? And, um, and so she told me, I think she was having like, she was trying to post for her business or something. I have no idea, but she was very, very new to social media, obviously. And I said, I said, yeah, I post, I post for my business all the time. And she's like, oh, what do you do? And I pull out my Young Living case full of oils. I go, uh, Young Living essential oil. She's like, oh, wow, <laughs> I've never tried those. And I go, well, today's your lucky day. You're going to try them. <laughs> So I open up my case and I pull out stress away because she looks stressed <laughs> and I was starting to feel stressed out a little bit, a little nervous because you never know how these conversations are going to go, but I was going to keep it light and fluffy and fun. So I said, stress away. She goes, oh, this is a blend. I said, yes, it's a blend made by Young Living and it's amazing. In the meantime, as we're talking, I realize there's other people in the change room that are now listening to our conversation and I have an audience, 
Like they weren't shy about the fact that they were listening. And our change room at this gym is extremely small. Um, like I'm talking, it's probably 15 or 20 feet by like eight or 10 feet. It's very, very teeny tiny. So you can hear everything everybody says in there. Um, but it's just big enough for us at the gym. So stress away. She goes, oh, this is a blend? Yes, this is a blend. You'll love it. It's so sweet smelling. Here, try it. So I open it up and I give it to her and she puts it on. She goes, mm. In the meantime, this other lady who's actively listening to our conversation walks over and she says to this lady, here, smell this. <laughs> the doTERRA lady, <laughs> smell this oil. And she goes, oh, that smells really good. I said, yeah. So part of my job is teaching people how to eliminate the chemicals out of their lives. So I have actually been able to eliminate the chemicals in perfume by using essential oils in replace of that. And I'm telling you, the benefits of that are huge. I have been using essential oils for 15 years. We are completely chemical free in my home. I have four children. And did you know my kids are now fourth fourth generation essential oil users. My grandmother who's 88, she uses essential oils and Young Living supplements. She's off almost all of her medication thanks to that. My mom and dad use it, my aunt uses it, my brother uses it, I use it, and now my kids use it. Isn't that amazing? And they're like, yeah, that's great. And she goes, so this is the third girl now that's walked into the conversation, says to me, yeah, so, um, uh, like my, I actually have just started using essential oils because I wanted to get rid of the chemicals too. And I've been having issues with my kids falling asleep. So I started using essential oils in my nebulizer. I'm like, oh, okay, she's probably using Sage. <laughs> and sure enough, I said, oh, what's the brand that you're using? She goes, Sage. I said, oh, okay, great. Um, so are you finding that that helps? And she says, yes, it helps. Like they just calm right down and it makes bedtime easier. And I'm like, that is so amazing. And congratulations for finding something healthy and natural that works for you. I chose Young Living because they're the best. In my 15 years of using essential oils, I've used many, 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 many brands, and I found that this one is the bomb. You know what else you guys might like? I host DIY workshops at my house all the time. I just did one. We actually made um, reusable dryer sheets and they're like oh that's cool I'm like yeah they're so much fun I teach you all the stuff that I know how to convert your home you meet other oil users you learn so much it's fun and you get to make something and take it home doesn't that sound great and they're like yeah and I said you know what we should connect on Facebook yeah we should Okay, tip number six. So I take my cell phone I pull up my Facebook and I say um, find yourself so she finds herself, puts her name in, sends me a friend request, <laughs> or I send her a friend request, and now she's got my information. Um, in that moment, I felt like it was also great for me to give her a business card because I started telling them about, because they're like, well, what do you do? And I said, this is my full-time business. And actually, I love what I do, and I just earned a trip with Young Living, so they're sending me and my family on a cruise this week. Where are you going? And then we start talking about the cruise, and I'm like, yeah. And I also, I'm into fitness, so I'm training for my very first fitness competition. I'm six weeks out. So all of this works together, and they're like, wow, you're really busy. Yeah. Yes, but the great thing about owning my own business and doing something I love is that I can make my own schedule up. So this is fantastic. And the free travel, of course, is amazing. And they're just like, like, I wish I would have had a film crew following me because I couldn't have set this up any better. This is why I wanted to share with you guys. And it's not that, you know, like, I'm not any better at this than any of you. It's that I use the tools that I have. I put them into play. I'm super confident even when I think inside, oh my gosh, I don't know if this is the right thing to say or not, or maybe they're not going to be into it. I know Young Living's the best. I know that we sell the best product. I know that it's the best choice for me, my family, and for everybody else that I meet. I'm 150% confident in that. I don't care what they think. At, at the end of that conversation, if I never hear from them again, it's okay because I feel good knowing that I've just educated somebody and who knows, maybe I've made some new friends. At the end of the day, maybe I've just made some new friends and that's all that matters. So, um, so my tip number six, I think I'm on, 
is connect with them right away on Facebook. I do this with every single person that I meet. I've been doing this for uh, a couple of years and I find that it's great. Sometimes handing them a business card can be a little salesy, right? You got to feel it out. I handed them a business card because part of it had my fitness on there and I really wanted them to see that I truly wholeheartedly am like this is my proof that what I just told you is true. I do fitness and I do Young Living full time and here's my stuff. Um, plus I wanted them to call me, right? Um, or just my face is on it. I wanted them to remember who I was to recognize me next time they see me because I'm not the greatest with remembering people because I see and meet so many people in what I do. So um, anyways, we connected on Facebook. Then what I do is once I get that and I see their profile, I actually, t before I close it down, I screenshot it and I keep that picture on my phone so that when I get home, I can go back and go, oh yeah, because if you add somebody and you don't remember who it is, you, it's hard to figure out on Facebook. There is somewhere, but I can't even remember off the top of my head where you go in and look to see what your recent activity was to see who you just became friends with. I think now Messenger sends you a thing that says you've just connected with so-and-so, um, which is helpful, but I always do that screenshot so that I can go back and I remember, okay, I spoke to her, 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 and her. And especially when you go to convention and you go to bigger events, it's nice to have those photos, right? So now I've connected with her. This is like the third party later, lady, and she's got to get going. She's going to work out. So I said, it was really great to meet you. I hope to connect with you and maybe you can come to one of my DIYs sometime. She's like, I would love that. I'm like, yeah, that's great. Um, oh, my kids are home. Oh my gosh, it's three o'clock. Okay, <laughs> ignore the yelling. They're going to get really loud. So then back to the essential oil lady, the doTERRA lady. So I go pee. I'm in the bathroom and she starts talking to me. She's like, hey, that's a potential new customer for you. And uh, and I said, yeah, everywhere I go, people can smell me and they love the oils and they, they're just attracted to me. So by this point, I'm out of the washroom now. And um, I said, yeah, I think it's really great that we met today. See, I love meeting people that are like-minded and have the same interests. It's so great. And obviously, you love fitness. You're here. And then, uh, you know, we just chit chatted a little bit more and, and she's like, it was really great meeting you too. And I said, yeah, um, hopefully I see you again, but Hey, let's connect on Facebook. So I did the same thing with her while I was talking to this other, the third lady that had left, she was standing there. I knew that I had her attention. She wasn't going anywhere. So, um, that's why I felt comfortable talking to this other lady first so that she could get going. So you have to kind of gauge people. Like if this oil lady was getting ready to leave, I probably would have, um, you know, done that Facebook thing at the same time with them and just kind of had that same conversation going with both of them. But I felt comfortable knowing that this lady was going to stay put, the doTERRA lady. So what I did was I did the same thing. I got her to put her thing, my, her thing in my Facebook and now we're connected on Facebook. I also gave her a business card and I said, Hey, I'd love to have one of yours as well. And then we can stay connected. And she's like, yeah. Um, and then she goes, so you don't think I'm allowed to post <laughs> back to, you don't think I'm allowed to post that thing? I said, I don't know, but I would ask and find out cause I've actually never seen that here. Um, but I said, I've got to get going. It was so great meeting you. Um, enjoy the oil that you put on and we'll stay connected through Facebook. Hopefully I bump into you here and um and that that was it and she's like yeah it was great to meet you too have a great time on your cruise and um and that was it and then I left what a positive awesome experience that I had um with somebody that sold a product that we would maybe some of you might be thinking competitor I don't think it is honestly I mean it is at the end of the at, let's be a hundred percent brutally honest at the end of the day, any other soil, essential oil company can technically be deemed as your competitor. However, I say that I don't feel that way and I truly don't because they're not. I've used other oils. I know that it's not the same thing. I know, I, I can't even tell you from starting this business three years ago that how many doTERRA, sage, now, you know, all these other essential oil companies, users, I've converted to Young Living. Simple, because I believe in the product, I educate myself, I share with them, and that's it. So there's about six or seven tips, probably more that I didn't even realize I was giving in this little video that I hope you find helpful. Um, but when you wanna to talk to somebody, you know, there's a couple things you can do. Make eye contact, smile, ask lots of questions, 
find out information about them, connect, develop a friendship, find out what their problems are and then make their problems your problems so that you can give them the solution because it doesn't matter what problems people have, whether it's emotional, sadness, depression, anything like up here mentally, whether it's physical, you know, if they, or maybe they want more energy or they're in pain or something's not functioning properly or they just need to feel better. We have the solution for any problem that someone can bring up, right? So if you can figure out, anybody could pepper me with, excuses or um, reason why this wouldn't work for them and every single time I can come up with a solution off the top of my head from practice 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 so overcoming objections is one of the biggest things that you, if you can master that in your business you will be super successful you will be headed towards Royal Crown Diamond if that's what you want for me that's what I want that's where I'm headed so overcome objections if you want to learn how to overcome objections um, there's tons of YouTube videos out there you can put that in and search it uh, maybe that's a video I can do for you guys in the future I hope that you found this really interesting and I challenge you to go out today it's three o'clock I challenge you to go out today and find someone new introduce oils to use your oils in public tip number eight seven I've lost track eight tip number eight and be dramatic so when I'm at the gym I use my case that says young living I open it up in front of the mirror every single person that comes in has to pass me I put them on one two three I'm dramatic I'm breathing them in I'm rubbing them on <sighs> do one of those rubbing it on the doTERRA girl said I could tell you used essential oils because I could smell them on you ding 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 put them on every day apply them in public share them don't be afraid to give a drop to somebody to a stranger if something's going on give them a drop carry the basic starter kit with you at all times plus your favorites because you know why those are the ones that you're gonna share the most if you love it you're gonna talk about it and those are the ones you're gonna share order that case Jen <laughs> I think it's like $30 or something. It's on the American side. It's totally worth it. It says that it only holds 10 oils, but honestly, I can fit like 15 or 16 oils in there because I just slip them all in. It's a hard case. It keeps them cool in the summer, protected all the time. I throw that sucker around the zipper super strong. I am super rough with it, and I've had it for uh, two years, and it's still going strong, and it's amazing. They come in three different colors. Uh, I think fuchsia, green, and blue or something like that, and they're great. I know there's a million different oil case companies out there that make really cute things, and that's great, but I'm really big on using branded materials. I want people to see young living everywhere I go um, it'd be great actually to figure out how we can even do that with the blue spruce club and get the blue spruce because that's part of our branding I now have people asking me what's that hashtag mean I'm a sprucer or blue spruce club and that has actually started a conversation with oils very very cool so let me know what you think of this video let me know some of the things that you're doing tips that you have for sharing out in public and um, if you found this helpful, post below. And um, yeah, use your Young Living Shaker. Good idea. I use mine every single day at the gym, even if it's just water. I want people to know. I want people to know. You know what? At the dollar store, they have these little tags. They're luggage tags. They're self-laminating. You could take your business card and put it on there, self-laminate and put it on your gym bag. And on the other side, you could have like, um, if it's got, if it doesn't have the Blue Spruce logo, you could put it on. You could even just print the Blue Spruce logo and then Young Living on the other side if you don't have a business card yet and put that on, laminate, stick it on your bag. You should see all the bags I'm taking on this Young Living cruise. Every single one has my business card on it, which is branded with the Blue Spruce logo, which is branded with the Young Living label. Um, I have big... Um, decals Young Living and Ula and they're going on my suitcases so people see it there's gonna be a million Young Living people there I want them to know I'm part of their family and they're part of my family so everywhere you go do that share 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 consistently every day so I challenge you to share today with one 
two, three, however many you want, but at least one new person and get them to smell or try an oil somehow or another. And then I want you to post below and tell us what you did and we'll cheer each other on. These are small victories that lead to huge victories. It will help you reach your goals. Whatever your goals are, you can do it. I believe in you guys. Have a great Monday.